Hi. Well, here's an update. Um, one, I got a new computer. Um, yeah, the uh, HP's been officially retired now. I got a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. Um, got a new phone too, the Rebel 5, 5G by T-Mobile. Uh, used on the Metro by T-Mobile service. Oops, sorry. Um, but really into the update that you, that you're probably dying to hear. Um, she came got the rest of her stuff. Um, I think beginning of the month, if I remember correctly. She had some stuff that I wanted to get rid of or other I was throwing out that belonged to her. So I told her, well, she had two weeks to come and get it, which she did right before I was going to throw it out, which was, I think, day before Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, the only thing I have left to wait on is her for to file for divorce, get all that straightened out. Thank goodness that we had nothing joint. No joint bank account, no joint bill. Um, I pretty much asked her just to have it as simple as possible because I don't want anything from her. Nothing. No alimony, no... I just want her out of my hair. And... Yeah, I've I've basically hit the acceptance phase. Um I would say I would say as of the fourteenth I hit the acceptance phase of everything going on. I'm I'm perfectly okay. I haven't cried. Um I'm perfectly okay with what's going on now. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm just waiting for the divorce where it can be done and over with and um Yeah, I'll, I'll be glad when all that's done. I'm, I'm ready to get to the paperwork and just go ahead and fucking sign the thing. Just so she can be out of my life and probably do the exact same thing she's doing to me to her new boyfriend. Um, If that's the case, I feel sorry for her boyfriend, but... <laughs> only in that front, because... He... I'm get, I would guess he doesn't realize that if she's cheating on me, who else will she cheat on? Um. I'm. I guess I could say I'm mad about her having an affair, but. I don't feel sorry because I know she was, she was using me just as much as I was using her, put it that way. I, I'm just putting that loosely. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty much okay with it. I got the whole upstairs to myself. I've had it for six months. I've held my current job at Maxway for six months. Hopefully we ain't get seven April the first. That'd be a big April Fool's right there. I've got great people still backing me. Um I've had a little more cash that I could just do stuff I want to do when I want to do it, which I really haven't. Because I'm not trying to put myself out there. I think my main thing is either working or going to get stuff that I need. You know, the normal everyday things. Um... As for just going out to mingle with people, I really haven't done it. Probably will never do it. Um, quite quite okay with it. Um, 
yeah, I'm pretty much okay. Um, I haven't really given it much thought. Um, I've been, although I've had a small problem falling asleep, which that's okay. Um, I've always had problems with falling asleep. Uh, I've been listening to, um, you know, nighttime sounds like ASMR, nighttime sounds, um, ASMR in general. It's done, help me fall asleep. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all of an update. Um, I try to be a little bit more regular. Um, I know I'll probably let y'all know again if when the divorce is final, which from what she told me in the email would be right after my birthday, so probably right after the 25th of this month. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready to get it done over with. I've hit the acceptance phase. I'm just ready to be done and over with it. Um, probably not the first thing you should ever do as a young couple. Um, don't rush into it. I had someone try to tell me the exact same thing, and what did I do? Just rush in head first and look where it got me. Um... If I were to give any advice to anybody that was married, get ready to have kids, uh, I would hold off on that, definitely. And so, you know, y'all are not getting ready to fly off the handle and like, oh, I want a divorce, and then you end up having to pay child support for 18 years. Or however long until they turn 18. Um... Oh yeah, Bentley. Bentley's Bentley's doing awesome. He's he's done better since she's uh, since she's left. Um, I think he's finally hit the acceptance phase himself. Although his acceptance phase was probably a lot less than how long it got for me to get to my acceptance phase. That she was just not coming back. Um. Although he has regressed a little bit, he's not acting as more potty trained than he was pre-separation. Um, I don't know if that's just him telling me that he's mad. Um, I can only specu speculate that he is. Um, he doesn't sleep with me anymore. He's either in his dog bed, which is like right over there in the corner, or he's either downstairs on the couch. So I can expect, I can speculate he's probably pissed at me. Or he's trying to figure out why... His mother's not coming back. Um, but he is okay. If anybody was curious and know how well how's Bentley taking it, um, I don't know if she's gonna try to fight me for custody of Bentley, which is odd because he's a dog. He's technically property, which I I don't agree with that. Animals should be treated just like family. Um, from what she told me, that she wasn't going to try to fight for custody for him because it would cost him an, it would cost her a another ninety a month in rent, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and actually, Bentley was acquired 
I, I'm using that term loosely for well, legal reasons. Um, he was acquired before we got married. Practically when we were engaged to get married. So, I think any lawyer would say... <laughs> any lawyer would, that would want to jump into it. Because I doubt neither one of us have a lawyer. I know I don't. Um... They would probably say, oh, well, he, Bentley is sole property with me. Again, using that term loosely because I don't like the term property when it comes to animals. They're family. I've always treated them as family. Um, I'd probably try to fight and kill somebody over Bentley. Um... If she does and backs out of just trying to get through this divorce without any type of fighting, which it's like I've been telling her, I don't want anything from her. Nothing. Not even not even fucking alimony. That that's just fucking giving her authorization to oh, I want to get married in like a month where I don't even have to pay him one d damn cent in alimony. Because I know in most most states, it, alimony ends as soon as you marry somebody else. So if I were to even ask for alimony, that she would get married a month later. And I wouldn't see one red dime of it. So I, I it's like I said, I don't want anything from her. And I'm kind of hoping that she doesn't want anything from me because... I have no reason to give her anything. It, I'm, I'm done and over with with her. Um, as for another relationship, nah, not right now. Uh, I'm more concentrated on, on Bentley. And I think if either a freak accident takes him or he dies of natural causes, um, he's... He's practically the only companion that would work right now. Not saying that I would wouldn't like to be in a relationship right now, but it would have to be on my own terms. Meaning, um, I I would want to back out at any given time with, you know. Every single girl's left me. It, it, it would be my turn to feel like, oh, if I didn't want them anymore, I could just, you know, end it all, so to say. Um, I've never been, I've never been that type of person to say I wanted to end it, knowing that, oh, I know they're going to end it with me. And I I need to be that person that says that basically stands up and says, "Oh, I don't want to be with you anymore because I know you're you're ready to get rid of me." In other words, I need to stand up on my own, and I've done that in the last six months. I've I've hit that acceptance phase. I've grown from it. I've I've moved on in a way. I just don't want to be trampled on yet again if I were to get into another relationship. I would be the one to want, would be want to do the trampling without cheating. I would be I would be one of the people that be like, "Oh, I've grown old of you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to break your I don't want to hurt your feelings because I'm doing this behind your back. Like she did. And you know, that's the one thing she practically promised. Oh, I would tell you. And yet she, in a way, didn't. She's given me hints, and you know me, I, I'd never take any hints. It, it, it's, it would be better for them just to say flat out. 
And she just ended up cheating on me and then leaving. But yeah, I'm still doing great. And I will give you an update. Is either one of those two things arrives. Anyway, see you later. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you have... If you happen to have prayed for me, continue to do so. Um, I have a feeling that people have been praying and it's worked. I've, I've grown. I've grown to where I, I don't even recognize myself from six months ago. I've I felt better of myself than what I would have taken it six months ago. And you can tell I'm not <laughs> from last video I'm I'm not even crying. But anyway, I'll I'll keep you up to date and I'll see you later. Bye for now.